There have been a lot of tier lists made on Toilet Tower Defense, but today, I am gonna be making a tier list. If you like and subscribe right now, then you are going to go in the S tier. But here it is. There are 44 units, and I'm actually gonna zoom in a little bit. So first is the brown suit cameraman. Now, this one is gonna go in useful tier, because I used him when I live streamed, and he was actually pretty good. We literally made it to wave 7 on abysmal mode, which is actually really good for a rare unit. Like, he's literally only a rare, doesn't cost that much and can actually survive in the beginning of the hardest game mode. Our attack helicopter is also somewhat useful. I'd have to put it in useful because in the beginning it can attack a lot of things. It is a little expensive. Actually, I'm just going to put him in decent. He isn't really that good. Then camera repair drone, I'd say is the best healing thing, especially if you have two people because of how fast it can heal. That's going in always use. Camera spider. Ooh, if I'm putting it in decent, I'm going to have to put this one back up because camera spider is not that good. It's pretty expensive. Expensive, does an okay amount of damage and normal cameraman is gonna have to go in like bad He's not that bad pretty cheap to upgrade But camera woman's totally going and never use it's a very cheap unit to upgrade But it is not that good while we're at it I'm gonna put normal speaker man at the very bottom of never use because he has so little range Camera woman is a little bit better, but that is not really that good car speaker man is gonna have to go in bad And I'm actually gonna demote or actually, no, Camera Spider can stay here. It's not that bad once you get it maxed out, but still not good. Car Speaker Man does okay damage, but is kind of expensive, and you can totally get better things. Actually, he's going to go below here and decent. And then Corrupted Camera Man. Corrupted Camera Man gets to go at the top of all these use. He does so much damage. This guy actually does the most damage per second in the entire game. I think I just scrolled past him. Yeah, here he is. 25k DPS, and he's actually cheaper to max out than Upgraded Titan Camera Man, even though Upgraded Titan Cameraman does have a little bit of AoE damage, which slows things down, so he's still good, but... Dancing Speaker Woman is gonna have to go in useful tier. I'm gonna put her at the top. Okay, she does good damage and is cheap to upgrade, but has, like, no range, so she's not really good for doing a ton of DPS, but she can literally kick rockets back, which I'd say is very useful, especially in solos, because it does 10k damage to whatever rocket toilet fired the rockets. So not only does she not get stunned by rockets, but most of the time that ends up doing a lot of damage to the rocket toilets. Then Dark Speaker Man. I'm gonna put him at the top of useful. He is not meta, I'd say. He's definitely better than, or probably not better than Ninja Cameraman, because Ninja Cameraman has more range. But what is going in meta, actually, I'm gonna have to put Engineer and Always Use, just because he's so good. The tanks in the back building up do so much damage and stop so many things. But Glitch Cameraman is gonna have to go in meta, because he is a bit cheaper to upgrade than the upgrade upgraded titan cameraman and he gets stunned for half the time that anything else does but he just doesn't have too much range camera attack helicopter is also gonna have to go in meta probably above him because it can also build things up like the engineer just it's not as good and it's only an epic speaker helicopter is definitely gonna go in the top of decent tier because i mean it's okay actually the bottom i don't really like it that much jetpack cameraman on the other hand is pretty good he does a ton of damage pretty fast, so I'd have to put him at the top of the meta. Then his brother, the Jetpack Speaker Man, basically the same thing, but Speaker Man version is gonna have to go in the top of useful, because it's basically like the Jetpack Cameraman, but a little bit worse, but also cheaper. Large Cameraman's gonna have to go at, I'd have to say, the bottom of useful. He's useful in some situations. Large Scientist is gonna have to go in bad because, I mean, he only really helps in the beginning if you get hit by maybe one or two things, but if you're getting hit by a lot of things, he will not help with that. It's better just to do a lot of DPS than to have this guy. I mean, maybe if you have a five-player team and all of them have him, you can heal by, like, 100 per wave, so you can get, like, one boss toilet through every time or something. But Large Scientist is just not really that useful. Large Speaker Man is gonna have to go in the top of Decent. Not as good as Large Cameraman, but still an okay okay unit large tv man is going in the top of bad because he's okay i guess but he's just so expensive to upgrade and you have far better options for aoe laser cameraman car is a pretty good free to play dps unit so for that i'm gonna put him in the top of useful he's not really meta anymore because there are some stronger things jetpack's totally better than that one mech cameraman can actually slow things down only one thing at once though not aoe but he does good damage and he isn't really that expensive 
move, so I'm gonna have to put him at maybe the bottom of meta. Medic Cameraman is gonna have to go in the top of useful, maybe the bottom of meta. Camera Repair Drone is better because it can heal literally 10 times faster, it just has to charge up. Monster Speaker Man is pretty good. It can literally stop everything in the beginning and is a really expensive to upgrade, not really useful to keep upgrading, but in the very beginning it can kind of just stop everything, so I'm gonna have to put him at second in the useful tier. Actually third, because I think Jetpack Speaker Man is pretty good. But Ninja Cameraman, ooh, Ninja Cameraman is gonna have to go in the very top of meta. Now, I wouldn't always use him, because he's not good later in the game, so you have to sell him at the end of the day, kind of wasting a little bit of money, but there are ways you can win in the beginning without him, like if you just use Engineer the whole beginning. I want to put him in the always used tier. I'm not going to put him above the repair drone. The higher things up are in always used are the more likeliness for them to be in my inventory, but Pumpkin Farmer is a very, very useful farm. I'd say it's more useful for if you just need some extra money in the beginning. If you max it out, it's still pretty good, but the scientist is still better completely maxed out. Above Ninja Cameraman and always use. Rocket Cameraman is totally at meta, probably at the third. It's only an epic, but he does explosive splash damage, so he is really good. He can get pretty much everything in the beginning. I'd say it's a very, very, very useful unit. Scary Speaker Man isn't that good. I mean, he's definitely better than some of the other stuff around here, which is why I'm gonna- I'll put him above Brown Coat Cameraman. Scary Speaker Man's okay, but Scientist is definitely gonna go in always use, probably above Pumpkin Farmer. TV Scientist spawns barriers. He's really overpowered, and pretty much everyone has him. Since we have trading, you can trade for him, even though he's an exclusive unit. So I'm gonna have to put him probably below Camera Repair Drone, because Camera Repair Drone, I'd rather- actually, I'd rather have him because he can just nah because we need healing secret agent Ooh, this one he's not really meta anymore but I will put him at the top of useful just because he's really useful if something really strong passes but sinister cameraman it's pretty good he does good DPS but has kind of low range he is definitely not in always use but I'd have to put him in meta above glitch cameraman but at the end of the day I'm pretty sure they cost around the same amount one of them Actually, both of them have the same range, but he just does a bit more damage. But Spider Speaker, I'd have to say is a little more useful than Camera Spider, just because it can get pretty much everything in the beginning. Camera Spider does okay damage maxed out, but at the end of the day, there are much better options. So Speaker Spider is actually going to go above Camera Spider right here. The Valence Camera Woman is pretty bad, I'm not going to lie. She can't really get everything in the beginning. She has good range, but really bad damage for how much she costs, so I'm gonna have to put her, it's either at the top of never use, or actually I'll put her above the cameraman and bad. Titan cameraman is gonna have to go above laser cameraman car and useful. Now I'm zooming out once because this, this has a lot of things in it, but Titan the cinema man. Honestly, we're probably gonna buff him soon because he's just not that good. He does really, really good AoE damage, but he's really expensive and and we made him before we had a system where multiple attacks could happen, so we should probably add his blades still attacking. I'm gonna have to put him below Glitch Cameraman in meta. I mean, a lot of people still use him. As long as you have something that can heal him, he's really useful at the end, but you're gonna need to save a lot up with, like, a scientist or something. Upgraded Titan Speaker Man is also good for DPS. Probably not as good as Glitch Cameraman, so he's going above the Titan Cinema Man in meta. TV Man is going above above speaker helicopter and decent because he does more damage even though he has a little bit less range than the tv spider is going in the number two place and always use because imagine the titan cinema man but he can't get stunned he can walk around but he does a little bit less damage so i'd say the tv spider is really useful corrupted is definitely number one tv spider two engineer three and then so on tv titan is going in Ooh, i'd have to put him number three or actually number five and useful because he's pretty good for AoE but still pretty expensive and doesn't do nearly as much damage as the Titan Cinema Man. TV Woman is going in below the farm units and always use because she is not required but she is a really really good unit to have because
because she can literally slow things down with AoE. The upgraded Titan Cameraman is going above, or actually now we're gonna put him below the Glitch Cameraman because the Glitch Cameraman is more efficient to upgrade, but he's going above the Speaker Man because he has more range. He has a chest fire thing that can literally slow things down and do AoE damage. So actually, I'm gonna have to put him up a bit more. My sorting is a little off. Let me adjust some things real quick. All right, I have adjusted things a little bit in the meta tier, but yeah, I'd, I'd put him at the top of meta. Actually, I'll put him below Glitch Cameraman because Glitch Cameraman is a little bit better in my opinion, at least for how efficient he is. Oh wait, this was this was normal Titan Speaker Man, not the upgraded one. Okay, let me put the upgraded one here, and then normal Titan Speaker Man is gonna go. I have to put him above Titan TV Man, but he's still not that great. Like, they're definitely much better options. So yeah, this is the tier list. The best unit on the tier list was the Corrupted Camera Man. The worst unit was the Speaker Man, but that makes sense because that's the one you start out with. It'd be kind of sad if you were able to summon a unit worse than the one you start out with. So I might make another tier list in the future if you guys like this one. Let's try to get maybe 15,000 likes, but thank you all for watching. Make sure to subscribe with the notifications on and like the video, and I'll see you all in the next video.